Hello and welcome to the podcast. My name is Sam Antini from The Puck Stops Here. If you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, I highly recommend it if you're into hockey, goalie, and uh, that. <laughs> it's at The Puck Stops Here. So, today is Tuesday, which means today I'm going to attempt another Technical Tuesday. I'm realizing that it's hard to talk about technical stuff without showing it, so I'm going to do my best. This one here is a little bit easier because today I want to talk about buying new equipment not from a like um, what size do you need type of standpoint but whether or not do you actually need new equipment technically when should you buy new equipment well there's a few ones and I mean the first one of which I'm gonna get out of the way is that I mean if you have the money and you want to buy new equipment then that's a different story great go ahead buy new equipment I see this one guy uh, forget his name right now on Instagram but he literally buys like isn't like six or nine sets of warrior ritual gear like full pads and gloves all in different colors for all the different teams that he plays on he clearly has the money and clearly loves uh, warrior so he buys a bunch of it so for his situation and anyone like him if you like it great go and get it um, for my my case for example I got my new pads because I really liked the look of them, but I sold my old pads to help pay for them. But I did not need my new brown pads when I bought them. I just really liked them and I got kind of carried away. But for most people, when should you buy new equipment? Well, first thing is if you grow out of it, if you're a younger goalie and you've grown out of your equipment, that's the first step. And the way you know you've grown out of it is if you get hit in places that you used to be able to get hit in and it didn't hurt and now because like maybe the gear is not covering your arms for example enough or you're playing in a higher level and your equipment is not protecting you as it should be say you moved up a division and all of a sudden now you're getting a lot harder shots and you're feeling them all the time and you're constantly getting bruises like bruises um, or even worse getting broken collarbones and stuff like that that's when you should really consider getting new equipment is if you're physically getting hurt while wearing it. Um, and now somebody reached out to me and said, hey, I'm having difficulty sliding. No matter how hard I push, I can't slide. And rather than thinking, okay, well, what is the technique he's using? My first instinct was, well, what kind of pads are you using? And he told me it was the Reebok, I think he said 5Ks which I, I believe they're older than my Reebok 7Ks that I was wearing when I first started my YouTube channel, and that was like over two, three years ago, but then those pads I got when I was like, it was back in 2000 and maybe three or four I got those pads, so they're old. So they, they don't come, like they don't have the new technology that pads nowadays have where your knee is on a really big block, and that like, A, for protection, but B, they're, the new pads nowadays are really really flat so you have more surface area to slide on um, so if you're wearing or using older pads you might not have the ability just because of the pads to slide as much as some other goalies do like if you were to try a Bauer um, like the new Bowers the um, um, the S uh, what is it S2's or 2S's or whatever they're called like I mean, you could see the surface area. There's there's a lot of room to slide on compared to old pads. Even my pads have tons of area to slide on. Um, so if you find that your game, if you're not able to play the style you want to play, if you are transitioning into more of a butterfly style type of goaltender, then that might be a good time to consider getting new pads so that you can actually slide and learn how to play that butterfly style. Um, that's an important one. If you feel that you are not able to play the position because of your equipment, then I would highly recommend considering to get new gear. Now, if your equipment is old and it's still working for you, but you just feel like it's time for an update, again, that comes down to budget and if you have the money to update. For example, my chest protector. There's only been a few instances where I've gotten a few, like I'll call them stingers, to my body. Um, more more than not up in my shoulder area, my collarbone area, that's where I feel it the most. Surprisingly, I've never really gotten too many shots where it's hitting my arms 
and I've been hurt, like never in the, like where my arm bends in my elbow area. I've never gotten a puck there and it's hurt. Um, never in my, my, um, like bicep area. I've never been hurt there. Uh, my forearms, not really. The only time I got hurt was when it actually hit where the padding wasn't. Um, and that's like behind the wrist. But other than that, my chest protector has been pretty good. I've only ever been hit once directly in the gut and that one hurt, like I actually got winded. Now it could have been a combination of me breathing at the wrong time, like breathing out or breathing in while the puck was hitting me. Um, but the guy took a big clapper from literally maybe three or four feet away from me. And, uh, and yeah, just, it winded me. Um, and now some people comment, the one person commented like, and he was from the military, Mr. Macho, where he was just like, oh, I used to play and I would get bruises all the time and this and that and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, dude, I know some people are tough and whatever, and it's a man sport and you can't see me, but I'm putting air quotes around that word man sport. But at the end of the day, like if you're playing a sport for fun, which this is, and you're getting pucks that are hurting you or physically like causing bruising and stuff. And if you can afford a new chest protector, like you don't need to, I'm a man and I need to like, Bear with this, people back in the day would wear equipment that was barely safe and get bruises all the time. And it's like, yeah, I get that. But like, are you gonna drive a car that doesn't have airbags just because you wanna be a man? Again, every time I'm saying be a man, I have air quotes. Um, because it's just, I'm just trying to kind of say it how he's saying it. My point is, if you feel at all that you need an update because you just don't want any more stingers, like I've been hitting the collarbone enough times that like I'm surprised I haven't broken it yet. And you know what? I just don't want to break it. So why not buy a new chest protector to prevent that from happening? You know, it just, it makes sense in my mind um, because I'm not, I'm not an idiot. I'm not trying to be tough for anybody. And my chest protector is over 10 years old. I think it's time for an update. I think I want one and am excited to get one. And a lot of people have asked, well, what, what have you decided? What are you going to get? And as I mentioned in yesterday's podcast, which was actually Friday, Friday's podcast, um, I'm waiting until I do this collaboration with Pro Hockey Life to get my new chest protector um, because I'm going to finally be able to have all the chest protectors in front of me. I'm going to try them out. I'm going to ask a lot of questions and I'm going to see what feels right. Now, I would love to try a Kennedy and a Passu, but obviously those are custom and you can't just walk into a store and try them on. And you know what? To be honest, I think they're a little bit out of my price range. Like, I don't, not that I can't afford them. It's just, I don't know if I need to drop like 800 plus dollars on a chest protector. I mean, maybe the last one I had was over 10 years and, and it did me really well. But like, if that one did fine for over 10 years and it wasn't a not anything special model, then I think I'll do fine with like, I'm looking at the Vaughn Ventus Pro SLR2 Pro Carbon or something it's called. That one looks really good and the reviews are really good. And I mean, it's not cheap either. I think it's 700 bucks, 699. Um, so that one I'm looking at as well as the CCM, I believe it's the E-Flex 2 series. And those ones are like 649. Um, and again, they look really good. They look like a lot of people have said that they're really good. So those are the two that I'm, I'm really interested in. I did try on the Warrior in that video that I made. Um, but I just, something about it, like the arms having the plastic on it, I don't know, just something about it doesn't feel right. It feels a little maybe boxy, I don't know. Whereas with my Vaughn, I just, I feel like it's a part of me. Obviously the big part of that is that I've worn it for so long that it's gonna feel like it's a part of me. Um, and so I just would love to pick up a chest protector that's really close to what I'm currently, like how I currently feel. Uh, where I don't feel like it's going to get in the way. I don't want to feel like I can't move my arms. And I'm not, as you probably see, I'm not a blocking style goalie. I really do do whatever it takes to stop the puck. And I don't want something stopping me from doing that. So I'm going to have to look. Those two have heard that they do allow a lot of mobility. So um, that's what I'm going to look at. Anyways, that's Technical Tuesday for today. Um, basically, when should you buy gear? Those are my kind of like guidelines and foundation of when I should buy gear. I know it's kind of like covered everything. If you have the money, great. If you're getting hurt, then that's a good time. Or if you need something like the new technology has come out and that's gonna help you play better. 
I mean, it's logic, it's basic common sense, um, but don't go and buy gear that you like when you don't have the money. Um, if the gear you have is working and you don't have the money, then don't, don't go nuts. If you're playing in a style that works for you, and it, whether it's old school or new school and your equipment works with that, then that's great too. Like, I guess the only time you shouldn't buy equipment is if you're just buying it because it's the new equipment and because that's what everyone else is buying and because your favorite NHL goalie is wearing it. I guess that's the only time, really, that you shouldn't be buying equipment is that if you're doing it because other people are doing it and you feel pressured. I mean, with Bauer releasing now where you can do the custom designs and graphics, I can understand a lot of people getting excited and wanting to do that. But at the end of the day, like for me, I love my pads. There's no reason for me to update or upgrade, even though I would love to like get a custom design, like really custom. That would be super cool. But I mean, at the end of the day, I'm happy with what I got. And I really love like the retro style pads that I have. It's like a retro, but like not retro because they're kind of glossy, shiny looking. But anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the podcast. If you haven't yet, go check out my YouTube channel at The Puck Stops here. Thank you so much for listening. And I guess I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.